January 2008 to September 2008. So you're telling me January 2008, February, March, April, and May for five months, she was working as a cancer research assistant and also taking finals in high school and graduating from Union High. It don't add up. It don't make sense. Something's not adding up. Hello, everybody. How are you doing on this fine Wednesday? Survivor night. Oh, my God. I literally still haven't even watched Survivor from last week. Don't give me any spoilers. I'll have to try and attempt to watch it tonight. Okay. So today is actually a BJ Investigates filming day. And I just now had to push off filming for like 30 minutes. So I am going to try and get this whole entire surprise witness video recorded in 25 minutes seems ambitious, but y'all have been doing a lot of research on the Dahlia, Dia, Lima, graduation, Tulsa, Oklahoma situation. And I do have a couple updates that actually y'all found. So let me just get into that. If you didn't watch yesterday's video about Dahlia Takali and the assault allegations and arrest warrant and Lima Linda, Omar, and all that, then this video right now that you're watching right now probably might get a little bit confusing. So I would recommend maybe watching that one first. But yesterday we talked about a few things and I actually even have a little bit of a bullet list here. So one of the things that we discussed was this court filing wherein Lima applied to be Bam Margera's guardian in the state of Florida. I will pull that up just to refresh your memory on this application for appointment as guardian that Lima did fill out and sign. She said that she was born in July 1989, July 20th, 1989. She spells her name without a U, so it's T-A-Q-A-L-I. And again, she signed this document. So I think it's reasonable to assume that she filled it out. She also filed this document with a court and as you can see, it was filed under penalty of perjury on August 8th, 2021. Now, interestingly, the prompt on the form does say to put the place of birth, like where you were born, and Lima does not do that. Now, another thing we discussed yesterday is that Lima gave on this application a little bit of personal information. Now, again, none of this is private because this is a public court filing that I was able to procure as a member of the public. Anybody can get this document document who has an internet connection. So she says on this form that she signed under penalty of perjury that I got as a public record that she graduated from Union High School in Tulsa, Oklahoma. She received a diploma in June 2008. She also said that she graduated from University misspelled of Guelph is how y'all told me how to say that. So she said she graduated from University of Guelph in Ontario in May 2013. All right. So remember that she said on this court filing signed with her signature under penalty of perjury that she graduated in June 2008 from an American high school called Union High School, called Union High School in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And she graduated from University of Guelph on May 2013. Well, y'all went out and did your own research yesterday and you found some things that would maybe contradict these statements that were made under penalty of perjury in writing and submitted to a court. So that's like half of it. The other half of it has to do with Dahlia and Dia, aka Dima, who also apparently attended Union High School. Now, again, Lima said she graduated in 2008. The twins allegedly graduated in 2009. Now, I happen to know through prior research that the twins were at a graduation ceremony in 2009, but it was for a different high school. It was for a school in Canada. And there are pictures of the twins graduating and Lima is there in 2009 at Bishop McDonald Catholic High School in Canada. Well, some of y'all went around and actually looked up and were able to find the Union High School yearbook. It does show Dia and Dahlia 
in the yearbook. And not only were they there in the class pictures, but they also were pictured as being on the cross country team and on the twins page and stuff like that. So now I want to get into some of the stuff that y'all did find. I do think it is fascinating and very helpful. Yesterday, we went on to the Union Senior High School Class of 2008 alumni page. And if you remember, there were only three people listed. It was Jordan, Cherie, and Andrew. Well, y'all, within about I would say 30 minutes of me uploading of me uploading that video and premiering that video. I have an update to provide on the Union High School Senior Class of 2008 alumni list. So here we are again, back on the Union High School alumni page. Same guy here, Jordan Manns. And somebody that added Lima Takali onto this list. But we don't only have to go by that list. Also, I think anybody can just add anybody onto this list. That doesn't necessarily mean Lima went there for that. But Let's look at that yearbook from 2008 and see if we can find Miss Lima. So this is the Union Public Schools yearbooks page and the yearbooks are all available here and 2008 has three parts to it. So here's the section of the yearbook that has juniors. We are just going to scroll to scroll down to the section that has the T's. This is a huge school. My graduating class had like 75 people in it. This is like so many people. Okay, so here we finally are. This is the class of 2009, but this is from the 2008 yearbook. And as you can see, we have Dahlia, no H, Takali with a U spelled here, and Dima Takali. Okay, so not Dia, Dima. All right, so here's Dahlia and Dima Takali listed as juniors in the 2008 yearbook. Now, not to beat a dead horse, but just to remind y'all, Lima signed a paper and presented it to a court, filed it with a court under penalty of perjury, saying that she graduated from Union High School in 2008. That is this year that we are looking at right here. Now, Dima and Dahlia managed to show up for picture day. Let's see if Miss Lima appears anywhere in this yearbook. Spoiler alert, she does not, unless she had a total face transplant and completely changed her name to something that she never said that her name was. And I will leave the link below to this yearbook. I actually invite y'all to go through and search for her. Prove me wrong. I'm really trying to get to the bottom of if the girl went to this school at all ever. Now, another thing that we did talk about yesterday was that Lima's name did show up on another high school graduation list on a roster on the internet. And that was for a high school called Broken Arrow High School. Now, the interesting part about it, other than the fact that it was a totally different high school than she said under penalty of perjury that she graduated from, it was a list from 2002, which is five years before her stated graduation date under penalty of perjury. So it's exactly the same type of list here. And as you can see... <laughs> An update, someone done went in and updated and put a different spelling of the name Takali. This was the one that was there, Lima Takali with an A. And now someone went in and updated it to Lima Takali with an E. I think possibly someone was just trying to be funny or something. But it does go to show that these lists are not particularly reliable. So just because this list has Lima Takali's name on it doesn't mean that she graduated from Broken Arrow High School. Doesn't mean she graduated in 2002. And frankly, doesn't show that she graduated from anywhere or anything. It doesn't mean anything. I think you can just go in and add someone's name on there. Now, there is a very robust alumni Facebook page from the Broken arrow class of 2002 um i have requested to join it we'll see if i get in and then maybe i can ask some of these people but lima does not appear and even though dahlia and dia did run track and they are featured elsewhere in the union high school yearbook lima is nowhere to be found and again i'm gonna leave the link below i want y'all to prove me wrong show me where she is in this yearbook because it doesn't look like she is in there but we have more information to go on and this also came from one of y'all 
And this information comes from Lima's LinkedIn page. So let me show y'all as is shown in the top left corner. We're on Lima Yavrimovich LinkedIn page. She lists herself as the founder and the chief executive officer of Aura since April 2019. She's listing herself as living in Nevada, Arizona, California. We've seen that. Okay. And then founder and fundraising director of the Yavrimovich Institute of Behavior and Brain Sciences. She lists it as a 501c3 nonprofit project, which is a little misleading because it's not a 501c3. It is the project of giving.org, which is, in my opinion, a bit shady. But I want to scroll down to this job down here. Now, this last listing here is Cancer Research Assistant at the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. She grew bacteria colonies, multiplied DNA cells, and had active involvement with continuous cancer research. But look at these dates. This was from January. This is her LinkedIn, okay? Her LinkedIn. She lists working there from January 2008 to September 2008. Well, how was she growing bacteria colonies, multiplying DNA cells, and having active involvement with continuous cancer research for four months, during which she was supposed to be a senior at Union High School in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hmm, it's kind of looking like the timeline isn't really adding up. It doesn't say that she worked remotely. In fact, it implies that she worked in Texas. January 2008 to September 2008. So you're telling me January 2008, February, March, April, and May for five months. She was working as a cancer research assistant and also taking finals in high school and graduating from Union High. It don't add up. It don't make sense. Something's not adding up. So there's one more thing that I wanted to show y'all on this That Surprise Witness video. Like I said, we are recording for BJ Investigates today. And there is some evidence that I have found that I have not yet shared with y'all that we will get into on the BJ Investigates. But I wanted to show y'all one other thing that don't add up to me. So we are still on Lima's LinkedIn page. Now we are going to scroll down to the education section. So as is shown in the top of the screen here, Lima lists herself as getting a political science and government bachelor's from Carleton University or Carleton University. I don't know how you say that. And minoring in philosophy. She does list the University of Guelph BA here, but look at the years that she puts. Again, this is Lima's LinkedIn page. I am getting this information from Lima's LinkedIn page. And she said she went to University of Guelph, got a BA in political science and government. She was there from 2008 to 2011, and she claims to have graduated in 2012 with a philosophy minor. It don't add up. How could she have gone to the University of Guelph from 2008 to 2011, and it also be true that she graduated from University of Guelph in 2013, whenever that's not listed on her LinkedIn, she doesn't list this Carleton University on the guardianship application. I don't guess she had to, but it looks from the looks of things right here, like she's trying to portray on her LinkedIn, like she graduated in 2012 from this place called Carleton University, which is not the University of Guelph. So again, I'm just seeing that these timelines just are not adding up. Did she graduate in 2012 or did she graduate in 2013? Did she graduate at all is really the question. Did she go to the University of Guelph, then go to Carleton, then go back to University of Guelph again? And maybe that's why she's saying that she graduated from University of Guelph on the guardianship application. I really don't know. But in my opinion, it definitely makes it seem like stuff ain't adding up and maybe possibly stuff being filed under penalty of perjury isn't actually true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all tell me. There is a lot of other stuff that I do want to get into, but like I said, I really only had 25 minutes to record this. This is really all I had time for today. We will be recording the BJ Investigates video today as well. We will also be recording the BJ Investigates video today. That will be coming out very, very soon. BAM Part 3 will also be coming out very, very soon. I don't know which one's going to come first, but we're working around the clock over here. That's all I really had for today. In the meantime, facts ain't defamation. 
Love you, mean it. Okay, bye.